Hey, this is Alan Lepresti from AJL Soundwave. Today I'm going to talk about a software that I use for creating uh, MP3s. I believe it's called FreeAC uh, or FreeAC, I don't know. I'm going to call it FreeAC. Now you can download the program from freeac.org. Just kind of follow the instructions whether you've got a Mac or a Windows machine. I'm on a Mac, so if I click here, it's going to go to your Mac OS and just pick the one that's appropriate. Okay, so with that being said, once you download it, install it, I'm not going to go into how you do that. That I think by now you, everyone who's navigating this probably knows how to do it. But uh, let's go to the program itself. Once you launch it, a couple things you're going to want to do. Um, first thing, go to the gear icon. You're going to want a down arrow. I don't know what it, I don't remember what it came up with, but uh, I clicked custom settings so I could choose CBR, no VBR, and all that stands for is constant bit rate versus uh, variable bit rate. I've got the bit rate set to 320, which is the max. I don't think I'd mess with this set ratio. Set quality, I have it set to better. Miscellaneous tab, I don't recall making any changes, but you could just mimic what I have here. Set original, auto, and then let's see, expert. So the expert tab, I don't believe I've made any changes. I think these were the defaults. And then for the audio processing, I think these were the defaults as well. So once you have set all this, say OK. Now the next thing you're going to want to do is set your output folder. Right now I've got mine set to my desktop. Just I created this folder in the background. So in this directory, I've got the track and I've got the artwork. Now let's go to... Program. I'm going to drag the track in here. There are multiple ways to enter whatever information you think you're going to need. For, for me, I use the tags tab. I put my name, title, you could put in, you know, uh, uh, I'll call this track one of, let's say I'm going to do an album. You could do one of 10. And actually you could, you could up, you could have multiple files in here. I'm just doing one as example. So let's just do maybe one of one. And this is disc. There's really no disc in here. One of one. I'll put 2024 genre. Uh, you can down arrow and pick quite a few. Uh, we'll call it all rock. How about that comment? You can do whatever you want. Uh, for the covers, there's my cover art. I'm going to go ahead and add it. So it's right here. There it is. What's nice is you can you can cut and paste. So if I wanted to copy my name and put it you know, on the album artist, uh, I'm the composer, lyricist, I remixed it. I'm the original artist, original lyrics. Uh, let's see, publisher. You could put your publisher in here. If, you know, so let's, again, put... Uh, artist web page I could put in Oop. and then copyright let's just go um, yeah so that's you could put your lyrics in if you wanted to I don't know what this rating is but I just use this tags and tracks for when I do it and I'll have multiple files in here too if I wanted but in this case I have all the information in there and I'm ready to let's say burn this as an mp3 you just click play right there and you notice it created the subfolder right here if we open it there it is all right all right have a great day Elopresti AJL Soundwave talk to you later